Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play more Switzer Lake in Europa Universal Sports. It's an evening recording session, it's 9.30 at night, this is so weird. My son, I gotta explain this because this is, this is a big deal, you don't understand. Listen, so my son, right, he's two, because I got, I got three kids, but anyway, my youngest is two, and he does this thing where he sleeps, he has a nap, right, that's what kids do. But today, the little shit decided he wasn't going to take one, so he stayed up from like morning until nine o'clock and then at like 905 um he just passed out like just fell over and it was hilarious but also means that uh unlike normal where i'm normally like watching him for like a couple hours at night i get to uh play video games so let's play some eu4 i love playing at night man it's so nice i used to always play games at night i remember when i was like in high <clears throat> excuse me not high school well, like college and like shortly after college, I was like the type of player I would use. My gaming was between between 10 a 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. And I would I would stay up till like 5 a.m. almost every night. I was such a nerd. I still am a nerd. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and slow the game down a little bit since I did just load in. Everyone's gonna change their rivalries because that's what they do. And Bohemia has rivaled us. Okay, so that means we're probably gonna lose the royal marriage that we had with them. But I don't think there was any chance we we're gonna get that union anyway. I still am kind of curious about this Denmark thing. How awesome would it be to pick up all of Scandinavia? In a chain union or whatever. Actually, I don't know. Would I mean these guys share a dynasty, right? Personal union, yeah. How is it that you have an heir? You don't have an heir. Like how is it how do you how do you have an heir? Confused by this. You should all be sharing the same leader. <coughs> hmm. Well, anyway, if we can get the royal marriage here, we're gonna do it, I think. <clears throat> I still got this damn thing in my back of my throat. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, we got that siege. That's cool. Let's go ahead and take both provinces right now. We're going to work on this thing over here. We've got enough cannons for a three siege bonus. We'd like to bring over four more if at all possible. So let's just do that. Let's take... Uh, ah, these guys are still locked. Let's just grab these cannons. Hopefully he doesn't try anything funny. We'll bring an extra one over from here. Yeah, that's making me nervous. Never mind. I I, I cancel. Can't come back. <clears throat> I swear, I'm gonna get this like this tickle in the back of my throat. It's gonna go away soon. Peace offer from the rain. Right. We were trying to like postpone doing anything there. Austria wants that land, but I'm not gonna let him have it because I called him in on favors. So ha ha ha. You're a loser, and I'm not gonna let you have anything. But also, um. I really don't want France to take it over, and France is currently trying. Trier is occupied by France, so... Apparently... <laughs> holy crap, it sucks to be Lorraine. <laughs> Look at all of this. Wow. Yeah, Lorraine, I'm sorry, man. I feel guilty now. Nah, not really. Hey, yeah, that's... Hey, I love innovation. So for the next 10 years, we have just... Just everything's cheaper. Just free 5% tech reduction. We got our weak claim. How come we got two weak claims, huh? Explain this to me, game. He's only zero years old, which kind of sucks, but, um... I guess it's okay. I mean, whatever. Remind me to turn on that policy before we hire the next general. Also, when can we hire the next general from the nobility? We can do that in 18. So, 10 years. Wow, it's quite a long time. Well, we're 14% chance on picking up our Siege of Istria. We probably have enough war score to do something to Venice. We're rival to Venice still, yeah? Yes, we are. We don't want any land from Venice. We just really want to to tell him that he's a disgrace and that uh, he should pack it, pack it up and go home. 60 ducats. I would only get half of the money. Apparently, Austria thinks they're doing a lot of work. Okay. I mean, I guess. I don't want to attack into the hills. That'd be kind of silly. Wow, am I ahead of time on tech? Holy crap. Trier just became a vassal of France. Okay. So, what the hell are we going to do? Right, we had, we had like, the absolute craziest leader. I've already forgotten his name. That's how important he was to me. <laughs> uh, from... Sort of this way. So, Gerhard Munzinger. Yeah, he was amazing. And then he made us become a monarchy, didn't he? Yeah. So... <clears throat> we're really far... Really far ahead on. I need, I need to just. I just got to take a drink of water. I'm sorry. Wow. <clears throat> Jeez, that that felt horrible. Right, we got to do development. I don't think there's anything any any other way around this. Can we do something with you? 
I can almost get you loyal enough. Like literally 59.9% loyal. So that means that next month we can do the development. Awesome. We'll, we'll click that button's <clears throat> sack some prestige and get him to agree to it. And rather than engage that army, I think we'll just wait for the siege to complete. Or let, uh, apparently, Hungary take care of this. And the nobility is now down to... Ooh, granted generalship has expired. Wait a second. Oh, wow, I thought that was another 10 years. Did I, uh... Oh, right, I was looking at the wrong one. Right, okay, okay, cool. We can do it again right now. Let's turn on that policy. I feel like, um... Now nah, let's wait till one, one guy dies. Now nah, let's just do it anyway. I mean, like, they're all gonna die eventually, right? Yeah, let's turn on that policy. And grant generalship, by all means. What do we get? We got... This guy, 4102. Kinda crap. Uh, not really that great. I think mean, the shock value is still too valuable to, um, to take him over this guy. But would we take him over, like, a 3-1... A 3-1? That has maneuver? Probably not. I mean, I guess. I, I would say I do prioritize the combat pips over the maneuver pips. Although movement speed is really useful. Alright, we're just going to fire the 4-3. As weird as that sounds. This is our combat guy now, the 2-3. That's stupid. I'm sorry, dude. Dietrich, you're, you're done. I tried, man. I tried to find you a position. Alright, let's go check this thing again. So yeah, we're exactly 45%. So that means that if we do it all this month, we're awesome. Let's go ahead and do this right now. And we'll go do a whole bunch of admin development. So, how do you do that again? Right, B8. It's like playing Battleship, man. Alright. And while we're at it, I think we're going to have to do Diplo development as well. Now is the time to do it, so... We've done way more development in the last few campaigns than, than I... That is surprisingly cheap. Well, it is only 9 development, but still. So, yeah. Um, we've done way more development than I would have expected. Like, I keep on getting so many Monarch points. Now, military, we can't do that on, though. So, um, that probably screwed up everything. As far as ratios of, like, land owned and all that stuff. And, uh... We'll have to take a look at buildings again to see if there's buildings that make sense to build now, now that we did all that, devel that development. We've got a workshop down here that's looking pretty pretty good these days. Uh, temple. Yeah, 0.13 there. We'll take that one now. Barracks. We haven't done any manpower upgrades. Regimental camps. Probably not. Marketplaces. Definitely not. I don't like how it shows buildings that you occupy. Kind of silly. I guess we'll jump in on this just so that our cannons can help out. Yeah, we'll, co we'll commit a few cannons. Kind of silly that the cannons didn't all deploy right away. Like, you notice that some of them had to, like, wait a second? Alright, so our war score against Venice should be very good. We're at 48 war score. He's not willing to do all of this. But we can just, just take the Humiliate. And I think that's good enough, actually. I really don't care. I mean, I'd love to do this plus war reps, though. Let's, let's wait out. Let's hold out for war reps. I mean, what, what has he got? He's got like a fort down here and a fort over here. That's the only reason. We can't get to his capital, but he's got war exhaustion. He's not going to want to do this for much longer. I can promise you that. We have a peace offer from Lorraine and a peace offer from Urbino. Oh, I wasn't even aware that Urbino was separate. Urbino is a dude. Cool. Yeah, okay. By all means. That's not a lot of inflation. We'll do that, sure. We'll do war reps. We will do enforced military access. Heck, we can even do enforced fleet basing. And then, of course, immediately start canceling that. I still don't like how this tooltip shows triple, triples up one one whole list for every single fleet. It's kind of annoying. This silly way of doing it. Uh, we shouldn't have that army in that province. That's kind of silly. Hey, Venice. I know you want to give me war reps. Oh, boo. I hold Venezia. I mean, I guess. 
that's the argument you want to make. I can't say you're wrong. I can disagree, but we might as well be looting. Now, let's see, in this war, we were going to take Piedmont, right? Of course we take that. You always take that. Your power of prestige compels you. Alright, I mean, one of these days we're going to have to let Lorraine out of the hook, off the hook. Now, I do have a claim on that, do I not? I do not. This is land that I want. And it's so much land, and we know that France is going to take it. I mean, he's still at war with France. France is just sitting there waiting to kill and take this province. If I took this province without a claim, we're still allied to the Emperor. No. It'd be a big no. Oh, that's unfortunate. What if I vassalized him? Less. But it's still a big no. Alright, let's just take his money, war reps. Force military access. Alright, France, have at it. Okay, so we got some access things to cancel down here now. So let's cancel our military access first. Are we actually... Do we actually have to pay for that fleet basing that I just demanded? Harbor fees, yeah. Like, I demanded it, and I still have to pay for it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Alright. Hey, uh... You. Are you are you ready? Negative nine reasons. Okay. Urbino. Actually, we could probably go back up to Lorraine now. Well, Lorraine's gonna stop existing soon anyway, but... Again, I can't can't tell you how well this campaign's been going. I have been having a blast. That's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to be playing it again tonight. I didn't expect to be able to play again until tomorrow. Of course we lose a general after I fire one. Of course. It's fine. He wasn't that great anyway. I wasn't too excited about him. So doing fanta fantastic on tech. One more level. So like, you know, nine years from now, we're going to be able to start knocking out quality. And we're definitely turning on France. Like, we're going we're gonna to kick France's butt. It's going to be awesome. It's this Denmark deal, right? Like, we should be getting that royal marriage, yeah? You still saying no to my royal marriage? Dude, I am. I have the prettiest girls. I have the prettiest girls in the world. You should marry one of us. Great thing about optimism is that we're still losing war exhaustion while we're at war. So, small amounts of war exhaustion don't bother us at all, which is very nice. We are going to take Piedmont, and that's about it. Other than that, I do want to probably attack uh, Burgundy before France tries to take it. And he is allied to a couple people that don't matter, but we'll get some more reps out of it, which will be, which will be good. Right, so let's see. Let's actually prepare for it. Who are you going to bring in? You're going to bring in Brabant and Flanders. Okay, so they're way up there. Let's march the army that way. Let's see if we can grab a leader. No maneuver. We are sh we are sorely lacking maneuver characters right now. A hey, Venice full annexation of Mantua was just accepted by Dem by uh, Milan. Okay. A hey, Venice, dude, you're gonna have to give me your money, and you're gonna have to bend over backwards. You're gonna have to stick. I don't know. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to moon everyone in the quad. That's how I'm gonna humiliate you. Drop trowel, stick your butt out the window. Come on, you got this. There was a guy who did that in college. I used to, I went to the University of Michigan, and there was a guy who did that. We had like this quad shaped thing. It was like an H actually. I don't know why they called it a quad, but Lorraine also became a vassal. What's with this, France? What are you doing this for, huh? You're, you're gonna have too many, way too many relationships. Maybe not. No, you got six relationships right now. What's up with that? Oh, I get it. He took the he used the subjugate CB on the rain. That's probably why he separate piece for that. The other guy. Anyway, um, so it was like an H shaped thing, right? So like the windows on on most of the interior like could be seen. There's like a big huge thing. Anyway, it wasn't like an enclosed space. There was a volleyball court in there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know why we're talking about this. Unsbakian separatists, eighty percent. Okay, well, I mean, all we're doing down here is just stealing money, so let's go find Ansbach. Get some troops up there. Probably up here as well. Yeah, we could probably put these rebellions down if we just wait a little tiny bit. 
Unfortunately, we are going to get some overextension. It's probably a little bit more important to deal with this. Then again, Austria does love us. Like, really, really loves us. So, they'll probably take care of it for us. And we're totally out of manpower, so yeah, I think we'll let someone else take care of it. We're just going to wage offensive wars. We'll put an army again next to uh, Savoy. Or, uh, yeah, well, it is Savoy, but it's Burgundy. Dude, Venice. Come on. Wow, generals are dropping like flies right now. And we gotta wait 10 more years to hire one. He'll, he'll surrender next month. There we go. Thanks, Bo, buddy. I just called him Bo. I don't know why. Alright, so you're gonna take that. You're gonna give me that. You are going to... Give me war reps. And other than that... You don't have any claims in my land. We could do the enforced military access thing for a little bit more prestige. We could do enforced fleet basing again for even more prestige. Just go all the way up to 100. I like the idea of that. We're not going to attack this guy for a while. So we'll take that land. We'll immediately start coring because we have no real increased cost. It's 18 development. I didn't even check actually to see. I think we're fine. But I think I did check, just not recently. Okay, how are people feeling? We got good numbers here? Gotta wait one month for that, but... Wait till he comes through. He's gonna suffer stupid amounts of, of attrition on his march home. Nope, he's actually smart enough to break up his army. Look at that. Well, good job. I mean, he's still suffering 3.7% attrition in my capital because he's a dummy, but. Our manpower reserve needs to recover. Yeah, I figured that one of the estates would be pissed. Not by much, though. So, you already have two pretty big mod modifiers there. Uh, we could give this land to the clergy. It's got pretty high base tax, so clergy would do well here. This is going to take their influence up to 74.4%. That's not a big problem. That's fine. Go ahead, you can have it. And do we want to deal with a rebellion, rebellion here? I think we'll just leave it at 40% autonomy. And I think we actually still have increased autonomy reduction. No, we don't. We did when we were a uh, uh, the weird republic, but then when we became a monarchy, we lost that extra benefit. Completely. So we only have one general right now, is that true? We can't risk making our current guy into a general because we might have a regency council and we hate those. So even though it's going to possibly slow down our military idea group, I'm going to go ahead and hire another general. Pretty solid. 2-2-3-1 with only 32 army tradition. I like that. I mean, granted, three of those pips were guaranteed. So we got four, we got eight pips, three that were guaranteed. So we rolled a five when we were guaranteed one plus the one on the D6. So we had... It was a pretty crap roll, actually. Best case scenario, we could have done... Could have done one... We could have done six from the D6. We had a 50% chance for the random plus one, so that would have been seven. We had three guaranteed, which would have been ten pips. And then we could have had... A 32.6% chance for one, and a 12.6% chance for one. So, unless I lost count there, which I may have, we could have had potentially 12 pips. And we got... Eight. So we could have done way better. Don't really care about your allies. I think we'll just dive into this war right now as well. And a 2-2 general attacking into the mountains. He's got no leader right now, but... He'll appoint one, most likely. A 0-1-2. Okay, that's completely acceptable. You seriously haven't given me military access. Come on now. So we're at war with all this. I'm really not too concerned. They actually, you know what? They actually have a lot of troops. But we're the Swiss. We'll be fine. We'll hang out in Baroy. We'll wait them. We'll let them come to us. We'll stack wipe this guy. And then we'll just kind of get the siege out of the way. This is actually... Wow, we only have one siege pip right now. Alright, fine. I'm going to spend another point. We're going to get one more guy. Even worse. <laughs> Game hates me. Game says you can't have any better generals. It's just not allowed. Okay, that's farmlands. We don't want to intercept that. Let's go to see where he's. this guy's coming. Where are you going? What do you, what do you think you're doing, huh? You'll be there on the 5th. I can be there on the 9th. Yeah, he's, these little guys have quite, a, quite large armies. I gotta, gotta say. Yeah, fight my rebels, man. Go for those guys. You know you want to. You know you want to. <laughs> God, 
Freaking morons. <laughs> oh, that's too good. We should just come in and clean them up. <laughs> they took they took a crossing penalty. Oh, it's too rich, man. And Austria's helping out. Austria, why would you help them? They're obviously losers. You shouldn't have done that. Alright, well, I've had a good time. I hope you have had one, too. Um, for now, I'm going to take a break, but uh, we'll be back with more idiot, idiotic AI in uh, the next video. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.